Hello and welcome to Patient Power, sponsored by the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. I'm Andrew Shore. We're talking about lung cancer, which unfortunately is all too prevalent. I'm joined now by a leading expert in the field, a researcher, that's Dr. Laura Chow, who's with the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance as a medical oncologist and a lung cancer specialist. Dr. Chow, welcome to Patient Power. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Dr. Chow, so people are hearing about progress in lung cancer, and undeniably there is that. It sounds like it's very important for patients to have their own personal lung cancer situation assessed to know are there approved or investigational therapies that can help them. A lot has happened in the field, not only from the perspective of what we call targeted therapies, as well as the field of immunotherapy. So at this point in time, we're able to actually take a patient's tumor and take into the patient's characteristics and try and personalize therapy for the patient and determine what would be the best treatment for them to actually spare the toxicity of therapies that don't work and also to have to provide them with drugs that would have a much higher benefit and good response rate with an improvement in survival and potentially long-term uh, remission. As I understand it, cancer is when your immune system has let you down mm -hmm. and you're making aberrant cells. Mm -hmm. So is the idea to have your immune system do its job? So when we talk about targeted therapy, a lot of targeted therapy is being focused in patients that never smoked. So in patients that never smoked, they shouldn't really get lung cancer. And what happens is they can have the wrong genes, like a light switch be turned on, that can actually drive the cancer. Most of these genes are either EGFR, ALK, or ROS1, and there's a lot of other genes that are being explored in clinical trials, and also different drugs for those different genes. By specifically targeting that one light switch, we're able to block that light switch, turn off what is driving the cancer, at which point cancer cells die and the patient uh, does better and the burden of cancer goes away and we can actually have shrinkage of the cancer all throughout the body. So that's the target therapy. therapy. Now what about immunotherapy? The reason why your immune system is not able to recognize the cancer is the fact that sometimes your cancer cells can secrete a little protein on the top of it that hides it from the immune system. What we call the PD-1 checkpoint inhibitors or otherwise known as PD-L1 or PD-1, these class of drugs are able to target these proteins on the cancer cell and re-stimulate the immune system to recognize the cancer as well as prevent, and it's more like a cloaking device on the cancer. It falls off and the immune system is able to be reinvigorated to recognize the cancer and to go everywhere and to destroy the cancer cells and to, without much in the way of any side effects, which is incredibly promising. Dr. Chow, it sounds then that it's important for patients to have their own situation, whether they were a smoker or not, mm -hmm. analyzed mm -hmm. to see whether there could be a targeted therapy or if they're a candidate for immunotherapy. So definitely, I also think it does require a very personalized approach in terms of the clinical characteristics and what each person is like, what shape they're in, what other illnesses that they have. It's a really complex treatment now in terms of determining what the best treatment is for everybody. Uh, or each individual, and we're able to treat our patients with a good management of side effects so they still have a quality of life, which is probably the most important thing. What we want to do is have our patients live longer, but live better, so we never want the treatments to be worse than having the cancer itself. How hopeful are you uh, as a researcher that you're sort of on the trail and it's quickening? So I think one of the most incredible things about being at the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance is a few years back we set up the phase one clinical trial program and this allows us to test many of the new novel drugs that are not fully explored and in that and it was only three years ago that we were able to put patients onto immunotherapy trials as well as some targeted treatment trials. We are probably one of the first centers in all of the Western United States to start enrolling patients onto all these immunotherapy trials. Now a lot of our patients have had really great results and also some patients have actually gone into remission and have not had their cancer come back. So it's been a really incredible breakthrough as well as just in incredibly uh, 
happy and satisfying as a researcher to see that there is now better treatments than just chemotherapy for our patients and that we're able to offer our patients something more and offer a lot more hope. Well said. So it sounds like patients should inquire about trials. Oh, definitely. We're now seeing these tremendous new agents with a lot of promise, good responses, very few side effects. And, you know, I think clinical trials are the whole approach in order to actually cure this cancer. And it's certainly made a difference for so many patients who've been in trials. Mm -hmm. So you're encouraged. Yes, I'm very excited and it's been this incredible breakthrough and new wave in treatments that have all just stemmed straight from phase one. Wow. Well, I know on behalf of people watching who are affected by lung cancer, thank you for all you and your colleagues do. Thank you, Andrew. I'm Andrew Shore at the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. Remember, knowledge can be the best medicine of all.